welcome to another video guys uh it's one jay jenks or andrew however you know me um today we're doing something a little bit different than i uh thought that we were going to be doing this weekend so alex bought a for 23 miles continue straight um and it has a bad head gasket so here one second i'll open up the video with a little m60 pull why not so there's no heat in this car so you can see my breath probably the whole time that i'm talking um the heater core went out so i bypassed it for the time being because i wasn't expecting to drive this car in the winter but my 318 is not the best highway car um so that's the explanation for that but so back to what we're doing today um, so Alex bought an S13 coupe, it has a bad head gasket and it's an automatic, so he bought a dual cam, uh, from someone over in Danbury that we know, um, so he's gonna, he's gonna toss that in, or well, we're gonna toss, take the engine out and toss that in, hopefully today, um, the goal is to have it running either, I don't know, today or tomorrow ideally, because, um, it wasn't going to be an immediate project, but we figure drift season's right around the corner. We've got a couple months, so might as well get it running so that it can get it kind of dialed in before taking it to the skip pad. Um, so I'll probably show you a couple more driving clips or, uh, I don't know, some B-roll, and then we'll, we'll get right into the swap. So um, it's going to be a few new people today, but you've already met Tim, Doug, Jeff. They're all going to be there. So... It's going to be a fun day. I'll uh, catch up with you in a minute. We got the engine swap going. Got Jeff, Doug, Alex, Tim, Tony, Brennan, the whole squad. Sheesh, I think it's gonna be running today. His shop is crazy. This is uh, Brendan and Tony's. This is Evo. Super sick. A little 34. Sheesh. But this is gonna be super satisfying to get it all uh, cleaned up. Hell yeah. Yeah, I don't know either. I haven't even. ready to pull tim and doug are going to town on it should be on oh, yeah. who knows soon <laughs> so we got like eight people working on the 240 or seven and uh it's almost coming out um yeah we've made crazy progress for one morning hopefully it'll be running this afternoon all right should we Let's go. Motor's coming out. <laughs> nah, you're good. You didn't even get in it. Nice. Uh, I need some.
what's going on guys um so i'm just leaving the shop um we wrenched on that thing pretty much the whole day got the engine out uh engine bay is fully refreshed um he threw some spray paint on there got it nice and white again it was like a, a old yellowy color um just stained um so he refreshed that i'm dipping out a little bit before they are um i think they're gonna try to get everything all buttoned up tonight bolted back in um but right now the engine is going back in the car i just got to get home uh chill with my dog my parents are leaving so gotta take care of them for the night um so other than that it was it was smooth and uh i'm just letting my car warm up for a minute and gonna be heading home but yeah overall it was a good day and i'm just gonna probably link this video into tomorrow because i think if it's not like brick out i think tim and doug and jeff are gonna come down and help with the 1j um because i'm trying to grind on that thing get it running um, all right what is going on guys so it is sunday next day uh i'm doing some work on the 1j i just hooked up the idle or no the uh intake air temp sensor um i was trying to route up the oil drain um did a couple other little sensors i gotta do the uh boost uh solenoid now um hook up the vacuum lines um it is freezing though so that might turn into a tomorrow project um i'll give you a quick little overview flip the camera quick and show you what i've been doing um but yeah i'm gonna probably wrap this up pretty quickly um and then just upload this video so that you're not waiting for content and then i'll make more videos this week so i think it's supposed to be a little bit nicer um Cool, so here I did this as a temporary solution for the venting. Um, I know this isn't gonna be, or shouldn't be like a, a proper solution, um, but till I get the press fittings and do the actual catch can with the uh, AN lines, um, I'm just gonna do this for the time being. Um, so I gotta get the oil drain to fit onto the turbo. It's very tight, so been working at that got the turbo all loose again and was trying to wiggle that in uh got the intake air temp sensor um right now i just have caps over all these different vacuum lines that i'm not like currently using but i know some of these are gonna have to go to use uh gotta hook up the blow off valve um and then it's pretty much hook up coolant lines um i have to put the the stem in so that i actually have somewhere to fill it um, I thought that I had like a double-sided, these come undone. I thought that I had one that was double-sided and I could either put it here or here, whichever the higher place, I think either would work. Cause I think it, the, the neck makes it tall enough to go either spot. Um, but I have to put it at the highest point of the coolant so that it does a, a nice self bleeding. Um, got a nice little 3.0 CSL Hot Wheels from AutoZone. And uh, then it's time to hook up the shifter and drive shaft, but I really want to get it running before I hook up the drive shaft and everything. Uh, I also have to hook up the uh, slave cylinder line, um, get the gauges in, and clean it because this thing is just full of parts right now. It has been off the road for two years, and uh, <laughs> it's kind of showing. But so got a few more things to do got the the boost pressure sensors um the grounding kit and uh this thing should be on the road pretty soon um i don't think i ever showed i did the one zz coil packs those are pretty nice um the previous owner he never actually put it in a car but he did a new timing belt and he did the um head gasket valve cover uh gaskets all that so it's been in america for almost 10 years and it's never actually run in a car um so hopefully it, that's going to change very soon but got a few more things to hook up um i don't know if i'm going to show you much more work today because it's freezing out here so i'm probably just going to end up uh packing it up um i might try to hook up this coolant sensor real quick um but other than that pretty much done for today um just thought i'd give you a quick update of what i was doing on this car uh but yeah main point of the video was alex's swap and uh all right, so I know I said it was gonna be the last clip when I was up working on the uh, silver car there, but I just wanted to show you. So um, my buddy Brendan, he does a bunch of 3D printing. He is working on a E36 little boost gauge, um, yeah, like auxiliary, whatever, um, port for here. 
Right now it's a little bit too big, so I actually pushed it right back behind the panel um, just for the time being. But while I was doing that, I must have tugged at a wire. My uh, water temp gauge isn't working now. Um, and I'm finally going to put a radio in this car. Uh, it has been a very long time. Well, I've owned it for a year and a half or so. Um, and I just realized the other day that it has Pioneer speakers through the whole car. Um, so I figured might as well throw in a head unit and uh, take advantage of that because... Yeah, why not? It's uh, the winter car, and I finally put heat and stuff back in it, because, uh, you know, last night I was talking about how none of my cars have heat. Well, I got that working, um, so nice. Uh, so this will actually be the end of the video. Just thought I'd give you a little update on the yellow car, um, the Hoopty. And, uh, yeah, other than that, pretty much uh, just got to put the interior back together. Um, I was trying to figure out that... that water gauge um the wiring runs right along the kick panel there um but gonna put the radio and the radio in and button everything up and i'll probably show you a little b-roll of it uh all done but other than that um thanks for tuning in and i hope you have a great rest of your weekend if this uh decides to upload during the weekend peace